I want you to imagine your cells going on strike and saying, we will not divide. We won't divide. We're not going to do it anymore. We're done. And they're doing this because they're scared. I want you to imagine that for a second because it's kind of a harsh reality if the picture's painted right. After this video, please check out Thrive Market as well. Thrive Market is this really cool online grocery store, but the reason that I like it is because it's not like going into a regular supermarket. Okay, you can sort by different diets, you can sort by different types of food. So for example, if I wanted to find you know, gluten-free, keto-friendly baked goods. I could sort by all three different criteria and filter down to just that. So it's for a guy like me that's just trying to find better for you foods always to fit different diet experiments that I'm doing. It's like just, I don't know, it's just awesome for me because I have everything that I could possibly need. I was gonna say kid in a candy store, but it's definitely no candy. So make sure you check them out down below in the description. Then everything gets delivered to your doorstep. So that's what makes it really cool. And they are a big supporter and sponsor of this channel. So a big thank you to Thrive, but also a thank you to you as the viewer for checking them out because that helps keep this channel going and gets you some awesome groceries. So check them out down below. You'll save 25% and get a free gift if you use that link. You see, vitamin D plays a very important role in sort of protecting the cells. Now, as we get older, our cells go through pretty rapid division, okay? Our cells are always dividing anyway. But each time a cell divides, there is a little, like, fragment of DNA called a telomere. And maybe you've heard of it before. I've talked about them in numerous videos. You've probably seen it before in other videos. But telomeres are kind of like the, uh, like, shoelace caps, like the little plastic pieces at the end of a shoelace. And if those little caps get really short or they fall off, then you end up with a frayed shoelace, right? Well, basically, they are little components of DNA that aren't necessarily involved in encoding, but they are there to protect. So each time a cell divides, this little shoelace protector, or this little cap, gets a little bit shorter. A little chunk of DNA sort of flecks off. And eventually, we get to a certain point in age where almost all of them are gone. And we have, the shorter that telomere, the more we run the risk of mutation, the more we run the risk of dysfunction at the cellular level. But what the heck does vitamin D have to do with this? Well, there was a study that was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that showed that higher levels of vitamin D were associated with longer telomeres, and deficient levels of vitamin D were associated with shorter telomeres. Now, I have another study to explain the potential mechanism here, but I find it very fascinating when we look at the world of aging, health span, and longevity. It's just fascinating stuff. You see, what I meant about the cells going on strike was this. So our DNA and our cells, like, if they are trying to divide, but telomeres are so short, or non-existent, the cell will actually self-arrest and not divide in a just essence to protect the rest of the body. So that cell in a way is like sacrificing its own reproduction to protect you. Okay, think of it like this, okay? If you have someone that is trying to do their job, but they usually have bodyguards to protect them in very dangerous situations, and all of a sudden the bodyguards are gone, that person is probably not going to go out and do their job. They're probably gonna say, you know what, I'm just gonna sit at home and be safe, right? Well, the cells are kind of doing that, but they're doing it to protect you. When the telomeres get so short, they say, rather than divide and run the risk of tumors and run the risk of all this other stuff, we're better off to just stay put, not divide, and go through just regular cell apoptosis and just die. They're doing it for the greater good, and it's kind of interesting that our body can recognize to do that. So, I don't know what's worse, having mutated cells or cells that are just deciding to not divide at all. Well, here's an interesting study that explains how vitamin D was playing a role in that. The International Journal of Obesity published a study that took a look at individuals and they gave them 60,000 IUs of vitamin D per month for four months. And they found that after four months, they had higher levels of what's called telomerase. Now, telomerase is an enzyme that actually allows DNA to reproduce within the telomere setting. Remember that the DNA that is in a telomere is not involved in encoding. So it is not, how do I put this? It's not the smartest DNA, right? It doesn't, it doesn't involve any kind of encoding. It doesn't involve transcription. It, it still can be expressed, but it's different. It's just there kind of as fluff that's protective. So it's a lot easier to just regenerate and help just replenish it. So when vitamin D levels are sufficient, it was stimulating telomerase, this enzyme that allows this DNA to sort of be rebuilt. And this is where something that's called biological age comes in, which I've talked about in other videos before. Like biological age is how long your telomeres are. 
Okay, like if telomeres are a marker of aging, or telomere length is a marker of aging, like our shorter telomeres mean we're biologically older, then that means that chronological age doesn't matter as much. You could be 90 years old but have a biological age of 50 because your telomeres are longer and you have less exposure to reactive oxygen species, less exposure to stressors, less exposure to potential you know, flawed division. So it's very, very important. So the way that vitamin D has this effect on telomerase is a very powerful piece. And as we get older, we do notice that vitamin D levels decline quite significantly. Our ability to synthesize vitamin D goes down, but also just serum levels are lower in the first place. Plus, we see as people get older, they have less muscle mass and more fat tissue, and fat tissue is going to sequester vitamin D in the first place. So then you have less serum vitamin D because you have more vitamin D that's being sequestered into the fat therefore not being able to be more active, biologically active, and be able to actually stimulate telomerase. So how do you get around that? Well, I mean, you do have to make a concerted effort to add vitamin D into the mix. And I've talked about this in many videos. Getting it from whole food sources is always the best, but vitamin D supplementation, if you have to, is going to be fine. I mean, I would recommend, if you are doing it, to, increment, uh, to incrementally increase your dose, like 2,500 IUs, until you get to a point where you feel good. But at the end of the day, you do have to talk with your doctor and see where your vitamin D levels are. Just know that you know, it's going to change from time to time. Like in the summer, your vitamin D levels might be a little bit higher because you're getting more sun exposure. In the winter, they might be lower. And you need to modulate how much vitamin D you take in depending on how much sun exposure you have. And a general rule that I have is if I am exposed to sunlight that very day, the next day, I will lower my vitamin D intake. Okay, so if I was out in the sun for two hours today, tomorrow I will take less vitamin D than I did today. Because that way I'm sort of, sort of supplementing that, but I'm decreasing the load on the day after I've had more sun exposure. So anyway, as always, keep it locked in here on my channel, and I'll see you tomorrow.